welcome back so in today's video i am going to show you a public queue management system which have the admin login and the counter login and the public registration services as well so this public queue management system supports multiple counters in your businesses even you are a school a pharmacy or any kind of business how it will work let me show you a demo so right now you can able to see here all the counter here and you can easily able to see which counter have which number and if you want to apply a filter of that particular counter like counter number five you can simply select a counter number five and open the web app url outside outside the counter screen okay hope you understand now for example a public visitor comes they just here come enter and enter their name and select a category in which category he need a sport technical sport will let take example so service this service is dependent of category so we have selected the technical sport all the technical sport uh, services we have here in the drop down we just select here it help and we can select here the auto assign system or the manual system so let me make it it auto assign and click on this plus icon so when we click on this plus icon as of now you can able to see here the data is going to be added successfully in our database and a print of that particular ticket number is being successfully here so you can easily make it print on thermal printer and give it to the customer as well now come here and we just simply click on this login and enter here the admin credentials and click on this login so when i click on this login you can easily able to see here in the user's sheet we have the username password the role and the counter id so you can see here we have in the counter number one the waiting uh, the waiting one person so you can easily able to see here the waiting one person and you can also able to see here the waiting in one person let's take example this is a counter number one screen and we have opened that particular web app url and display on a, a display on a led so we select from the drop down a counter number one so outside the counter number one show this screen okay now what happened we just go to the user management so this is a counter management and we just copy this particular id from here and we can also uh, copy this particular username and the password from here and open this particular link in the new tab so let me show you how it will work so you can see here the link will be open in the new window and we simply click on this login and paste it here the counter uh, the counter username and the counter password as well and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can easily able to see here we are successfully logged as a counter number one so this counter number have active and now that particular data that particular thing will be in the serving condition so the all web application is in the real time status updates so when a counter number one complete the service he just simply click on this mark done so that particular queue will be marked as completed or served so you can easily able to see here in the counter number one you can also able to see here completed one in the admin section you can also able to see here the completed and here's also the completed let's take example of another customer come for example rami's one and select a category and again inquiry and click on this ad so when he click on this ad as of now you can easily able to see here it the data will be added out successfully and registered successfully and i will enter here the demo to okay and select a particular category and select any kind and click on this save so when i click on this save so that data will also be added in our database so right now you can able to see here we have added successfully to data okay we have added successfully to data so it will say waiting in counter number one so already one waiting in the counter number one and it, it's already booked so the system automatically assigns the counter number two to that particular user okay so in this way you can easily set it out and uh, in the counter management you can easily add delete or update the counter let's take example i am going to delete this particular counter and click on this yes delete and in the counter the sheet so you can easily able to see here the counter number eight will be deleted out 
successfully and we will go to the main section and the counter 8 is not available if you add it again it will add and if you add unlimited counters it will automatically add it here okay now the one condition the one is in the waiting state so we can easily mark the call next function so now on the counter number one the serving person is two okay again the, in the admin side let's take example you you know the counter number one uh, procedure what the counter login does do but the admin can also uh, uh that the admin can also call the next okay so this is uh, you can see here one uh, here the waiting and we can easily call next from here now it is in the serving mode now this will become zero and this will become one because we are in the serving mode right now and if we go to all the counters so ticket number three will be serving on the counter number two okay hope you like that and again let's take example one more person comes here like demo three okay and select a category inquiry and click on this ad and when we click on this ad so it will automatically assigns a counter okay so you can see here if we go to our admin dashboard and uh, you can easily able to see here it will allow it will be uh, in the counter number one category okay not on the others okay again you can easily uh, mark them if you click on this yellow icon the tick icon so that means the serving person will be completed served and now there is nothing waiting or nothing serving or you can also able to see here in the list as well okay in the report section you can easily able to see here in which service type which total it was found and how much is completed and the completion rate in the user management you can add user edit user or update the user as usual we have all in our videos so you can see add the user and the edit the user as well the counter you can assign the counter as well the counter names automatically comes here and in the category management what is the category management so in the category management you can see here this is a category let's take example i am going to add a demo for example this is a demo and the description we will add any uh, also the demo and we will add here uh, the different services like demo 1 comma demo 2 that's all and status active and click on this add category so when we click on this add category so you can easily able to see here it will be added out successfully and we select here the demo and the demo 1 and demo 2 is added out here successfully in the settings section you can able to see here the total counter is 7 active counters is 7 inactive counters is 0 and total queue entries is 4 okay you can also refresh the data clear all the data and print the report as well so in the counter management one more thing you can easily done able for example this is a counter person and it's inactive so you can easily make it inactive so this counter will not be assigned any person to uh, go for the servicing to go for the service so you can easily able to see here this will be inactive and uh, you can also able to see here that counter is in the inactive mode right now hope you will like this counter management system and uh, again how you can set up when you open this particular link and uh, come it here and uh, you will see this kind of screen in front of you you can simply uh, click on this make a copy when you click on this make a copy a copy of your google drive will be successfully copied in your google drive so you can simply click on this extensions and click on this app script so when you click on this app script the code is already there and you can easily update the code so from here you can update the site title and from the index.html you can you can press ctrl f and select any text which you want to replace and simply click on this deploy click on this new deployment so when you click on this de new deployment make sure you will make it any month and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy as of now you it will ask you the permissions or grant the access of your account so you can simply click on this authorize access and enter uh, continue with your email friend login email and click on this advanced go to the public queue system and that's it and click on this allow so when you click on this allow a url of that particular web application will be displayed in front of you okay like that and uh, you can open that particular link uh, in this way for example this is a counter number one and this is a counter number two so this will become here and uh, this will also come here so you can see here you can select here the counter number 
uh, as of now it will be take loading so you can select a 